Okay, for Nestle, what, what the process followed in my college was that we were shortlisted on the basis of resume. The eligible branches were mechanical and industrial engineering. These are the two branches we don't have production over here. So, uh, uh, as per that, 45 students were first of all shortlisted, and the following day we had to appear for GD and then interview. So, uh, for after shortlisting, uh, uh, there were 45 students and there was PPT uh, from the Nestle people. And then we were told to appear in GD uh, just following the PPT. There were 45 candidates, so uh, I guess it was around 9 uh, in each group and 5 groups like that. So, uh, the, most of the topics were the hot topics going on currently. Like in my group, the topic was should Sachin Tendulkar retire or not. That was the talk of the town at that time because he was quite out of form. So, actually, what, uh, what you have to emphasize in any GD is whether to put the real facts and your correct opinion not going in a very negative manner, uh, going for a positive aspect, although I was, uh, I was in favor of his retirement, but then I put my real stats behind about his records and whether he is, he is being a liability for a team or the asset. That was what the logic I put behind and I thought I would be selected. I wasn't very aggressive, I was uh, quite well tempered at that time. Then I was actually selected uh, in the GD process. Followed by interview, uh, my interview was the first one actually and it was at, uh, techno plus HR combined interview and I thought that was a hard part, I hadn't faced it earlier but then I, I put my cool and uh, went for my basics whatever being honest with myself all the credentials I had to put forward that was it. Uh, it went a little uh, longer as than expected, it went for almost 45 minutes but uh, starting with this they asked me why do you want to join us there? I said uh, in an FMCG sector I can't uh, get a better name in my college than Nestle. Definitely it's a good chance for me. I would like to go forward. And uh, But uh, you know I didn't have the very right idea of the products uh, Nestle were, uh, associated with it. Uh, but then it was okay. I, I, I went for the basic idea. I like the FMCG sector and uh, the kind of job they are offering that was quality and maintenance. Those are my areas of interest. So also I had done a Six Sigma Green Belt course in Quality Management so it, uh, it was a good choice for it. Then after they started with the hardcore technical part and the first question you are asked in most of the technical papers is what is your favorite subject and that is actually a tricky question because if you go for all your favorite subjects then he may ask you the other from other subjects which are not actually your favorite and may not really be your favorite. So uh, there should be a balanced answer uh, what I suppose. I put, uh, see I have two um, basic subjects I like in mechanical, one is uh, thermodynamics and associated subjects and secondly that portion quality and the strength of material, these are the basic three subjects I like. So I said only thermodynamics, remaining the other two portions for maybe the uh, contingency planning kind of. So they started with thermodynamics, I had done the power plant training and everything. You know what they basically aim is uh, if your core competence is right or not. It's not about whether the company is dealing with thermodynamics or not. They want that whatever you have studied you should put forward. They want to know you are capable of learning or not. Because a guy who is capable of learning can learn anything anywhere. Also if you are interested in mechanical engineering then there is a lot of scope. Uh, there are so many subjects associated. So starting with power plant engineering I had to, uh, he asked me about uh, boilers, the technical guy. Uh, I told him about the entire structure, the functioning, the parts of a boiler the laws followed, the graphs and all, so many things were asked. Then uh, followed by he asked me about gas plant, gas power plant as well which is not very common in India but uh, as doing a thermal power plant training I had also studied some portions of gas power plant I told him. Followed by uh, I had designed a solar air conditioner and got a, a prize in IIT Bombay that was my project so he asked me about it I had to explain the complete structure and everything schematics, schematics and everything of it. Then he asked me a few simple numericals. While I was solving a numerical, at the same time he put forward me a strength of material question. And that was fortunate for me. I had uh, some, somewhere in the back of my mind, I had this expectation that he would shift from one subject to the other. And uh, then he asked me uh, to calculate the moment, uh, uh, that bending moment for uh, beam and all those. I, I did, uh, although I was a bit surprised with that question, but I finally did it. And then again, while I was answering that question, he asked me about fluid machines. So, surprisingly, I had that in mind, fluid machines concepts as well. 
uh, basically he asked me all the fundamentals of everything so if you are good with your fundamentals, if you have read properly, if you have those basics in mind, then you would definitely crack an interview. Uh, then the, the HR guy, he asked me about whether you are able to move freely anywhere in India, is there any restrictions of posting or anything. I asked them about their possible uh, postings and there were names like Goa and uh, Pantanagar and all such places. I said most of these places are tourist attractions, why wouldn't I? be able to uh, live anywhere then uh, he, he he told me that it's not really a tourist place because they live in quiet interiors of Goa so you have to uh, be capable of adapting in such places I said I'm okay with it but uh, I had uh, also this idea that they would place me somewhere in North India so they also asked me a choice later on it was quite okay in the end and I was well contented although it lasted long but in the end it did satisfy me and I had this feeling that I might be selected today, today would be my day. In the end I was. See for cracking any technical uh, interview, say for getting any technical job, the first thing we should have in mind is the company we are sitting for or do we really want the job or not. And then if you decide once, if you are, uh, if you are contented with yourself, if you have a firm decision, definitely go for it. Starting with the interview, you should be good with your basics. If you are not really revised it, then just go for it a day before. Because basics, you know, when you, when you have revised it, recapped all the things you have learned over the last four years, then it is really good to reproduce it uh, once you are talking to somebody, once you ask, uh, once you have, question, you have been questioned something. Secondly, keep your cool. Never be over excited uh, with an answer you know or never be dejected if you don't know an answer. Be honest with what you say. If you don't know an answer, simply go for it because all, at last you are human and nobody is perfect in the world. Just if you don't know an answer, just plainly say you, are, you don't recall it, you are not able to remember it right now. Thirdly, uh, it's about the training because we have to undergo industrial trainings as well as projects included in this as part of our curriculum. So whatever you have done in training, please uh, revise it once and please uh, get things further if something is being lacking behind in, the, in that portion. As well as for a project portion, do revise your project portions. What is the aim of your project? Uh, what is the project planning you are doing and uh, how, how, how do you uh, think to uh, improve upon it and uh, improvise upon what you are working on. So these are the things basically if you go by your curriculum, follow what is being taught to you and uh, be strong, uh, keep the basics right in every portion of your curriculum then I think it's very easy to crack a technical interview. As far as HR is concerned, they basically, uh, uh, what, what my interview experience told me, they basically HR guys want to know your mindset, whether you are an antagonist or a protagonist, whether you are able to stay cool in tough tension situations or not. So show them your character, show that you have got the metal to work in the harshest of mental conditions and then uh, be as cool as you are ever. That is the way it goes.